Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 22nd of October, 2019. We just got through with Monday, new first day of the new options cycle. It wasn't very exciting. Uh, it was a 1.7 billion share day. We'll talk about that in a minute and look at what that means. But overall, <clears throat> not very interesting. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. And as you can see, nothing really happened. We just uh, we were up a little bit. My point or so, but we're still under the pink risk line from the 13 sell signal that was all the way back around the 4th of July. And so here we are four and a half months later and stuck, continue to be stuck in this horrible range. Um, let's go through the daily charts of the main stuff. So crude oil closed at 53.40, was up a couple of pennies, gold down $3.80, no big deal there. The S&P cash, therefore, gained 20.52. Remember, it gapped up and didn't fill. We'll look at that on the intraday chart in a minute. NASDAQ also gapped up. Uh, so it's closed up 71.84. The SOC's up 29.95. Biotech's up 49.56. Russell 2000 up 14.65. The VIX loses 25 cents to 14 even after being back up a bit on options expiration Friday, which was kind of weird. Uh, the train closes at 0 0.84, 0 0.85, uh, puts the 10-day moving average at 1.01. .01. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So <clears throat> I think if I'm counting this right, that big reading that was up over like 2.2 .2 is 10 days back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's 10 days back. So that's going to drop off tomorrow. So if we get a low reading tomorrow on the trend, that 10-day moving average is going to drop quickly. And remember, again, it's that 0.85 number that gives you the sell signal. If the 10-day moving average hits 0.85, that gives you the sell signal. And I suspect without that big reading, um, that would mean that eight of the last 10 days were below one. And that might take that down there very quickly. So let's keep an eye on that tomorrow. That's going to be very important to see what that looks like. NASDAQ volume, 1.75 billion shares. I mean, only a couple days can be lower than that. It was really a bad volume day. Now, not super shocking with the uh, first day of a new option cycle that happens sometimes. But this was really bad. Let's be honest. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, plus 1,029. On the New York, plus 937. Google loses 13 cents. Apple gains four dollars and ten cents, so that's a new closing high on Apple. Netflix up two seventy-five. Amazon gains twenty-eight point one five. It's kind of still middling. It's exactly where it was back in March. Tesla down three dollars and forty-five cents. Also, basically a little where much, pretty much where it was back in March. Facebook up three ninety-one. Made a little money there today. Goldman Sachs up two dollars and seventy-three cents. TLT the twenty-year bond ETF down a buck oh five. The Dow was up 57.44. Okay, let's look at the intraday action. So, you know, a very boring day. A uh, little gap up. We tried to wiggle early, uh, trying to head down. Couldn't go down and fill the gap, so instead it was just a dead flat. After that, we recovered to the midpoint, and it was just dead, dead, dead flat all the way through lunch. Stayed inside the opening couple of candles for most of that session. And then right after lunch, we started to move up. We had two candles in a row that were strong. Made it look like we were breaking out, and then, boom, that's it the rest of the day. Just dead flat, nothing going on. Uh, NASDAQ, look at that. I mean, look how small those candles are, how flat that action is. That is just horrible. Not the type of day you want to see if you're trying to make a bunch of money and train the markets. Um, all right, in terms of economic data, on Tuesday we've got the existing home, uh, existing home sales <coughs> and rich manufacturing index at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Federal budget balance at 2 in the afternoon. Um, we still got some other numbers later this week. We've got two weeks left of the time change. Got over a month left till Thanksgiving, which is the next holiday. And uh, so hopefully we get a couple days this week. That's what we like to see. Maybe two good, solid trading days. And go from there. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading. Uh, to